So are these the best 10 survival locations in Green How to build? Plus a bonus by the way, so stay tuned for that. And also don't forget, comment down below, let me know what your best locations are. And also drop a like and subscribe if you love survival games. Doing anything like that will really help this small channel get out there. So let's go survival game in the community, get on this one. But other than that, stay safe and enjoy the show. So we're here at 28 West, 33 South. This is the tutorial camp location in story mode. So amazing thing here for me and this leech on my arm. This is clean water. So in this location, there's no need for water filters or collectors. You can drink straight from the river here, as long as you've got clean hands. So um, in story mode, this area will have a tent, which will include like a bed and also it has like racks and little cases for storage and stuff like that. You could possibly get your campfire in there and just get showered from the rain. So that's amazing in story mode. This is survival mode. If you want to opt for that, you can have a nice big open bit of land and it's nice and flat to get a good old build. In terms of food wise, there are shrooms here, nut trees, bananas, stuff like that. The only meat you'll get here though is fish. So basically the cons are you have to travel if you want more meat. So basically overall it's safe, got clean water, there's a tent in story mode with a bed. But in survival mode there is lots of flat land to build. You just may have to travel a little bit for more meat. But like I say fish stick traps work in this location so you will be fine to be honest. So overall then a pretty nice location, let's move on to the next one. We've arrived at 48 West, 16 South. So this is like a cave camp oasis type build. So um, if you want that map, by the way, join the Discord or search online, you will find it. This is amazing place location. One, you have a turtle and an armadillo spawn. Armadillo is going to give you armor. A turtle will help you level up all your skills. If you don't know about that, check out my video playlists are in the description and that but you can level up using a turtle anyway the cave system is amazing it does have its cons though there is a scorpion and a spider spawn in here so creepy crawlies to look out for there is a bit of open bit there where you can have a water catcher but you don't really need it as you have that pond that doesn't go away and inside the cave is ample room for a little tiny base but beware i've had scorpion and spiders spawn in here and they do bite you when you save and reload there is plenty of fruits and nuts around here so there's bananas and whatnot and plenty of meat and ample amounts of space but this little secret i'm taking to up here if you just come up to this location you will find a tribal camp now there is about three tribals that spawn in here but they do have the weapon rack plus they have all tribal weapons that are amazing and they also have a fire starter in there too and that little fire so um plenty of blueprints to learn from this little tiny camp and it's kind of secret hidden out of the way if you didn't know about it then you do now so a really nice location this one so just to sum it up there's plenty of blueprints you've got water like you have at all locations there's an added cave tribals can't get in this cave i don't think by the way so that's an added bonus plenty of room to build outside you've got the armadillo for armor it's just a perfect little location to sum things up so moving on to the next location is like 51 19 51 west 19 south and just across there is going to be another secret location i'm going to reveal to you so um this is the fishing dock uh sort of harbor location and it is a pretty nice location it's probably top three to be honest there's so much around here which makes it good uh there's a fish stick trap right there there is a water filter uh, there's plenty of land to build on there's a lot of birds by the way in this location so if you need meat also feathers to make arrows there's plenty of birds 
there's obviously lots of fish in this location they are piranhas i'll show you them in a sec you've got your bamboo water fiddle right here and then on the dock you have a um, fish prong so you've got a fish press fish prong spear um, there's also a rusty axe sometimes or a machete around here i didn't get lucky this time there's a sleeping bag and also in story mode there's a save point on the wall but there is a bag there with some resources in it like maybe some pills and snacks and that there's also a hammock a lovely little hammock there and you've got shelter from your for your fire as well there's armadillo spawn and a turret spawn just uh, down the way a bit north so cons are there are piranhas but that is also a plus if you like fishing so there's two tribals that run around the back but they don't really get too close as long as you build, build near the water you should be fine across the river should i add there's a bamboo forest and this is where that little secret location i was going to reveal so um if you come up here and let it render there's a bamboo smoker there's a fire pit and there's also an upgraded torch on the floor so plenty of blueprints to be found in this location too and an added little bonus secret there is also coconuts by the way but that's not it ladies and gents if you move just through the tree line just here there is also a nice little secret i won't cut it out in case you get lost so bear with me go through the foliage just here and there's a nice little cave system it may seem difficult but it isn't it's literally like us it loops around and then there's a bit in the middle you can take i kind of like this little route here the scenic route <laughs> there is a little pool there i think that evaporates in the dry season and there's this medium bamboo shower which i can say looks so snug i would love to spend a night in there if i'm honest so let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments i'm loving this location like i say it's got to be top three surely so moving on swiftly to the next one then this is at location 51 west 24 south so it is a little like pond oasis shall we say what i love about this one you can just walk around knee height stabbing fish in the face with a spear so you'll get plenty of fish meat in this one and it is a lovely location the only downside there isn't tons of land to build like flat land you might even be able to utilize the water to build in the water but um just on top there's plenty of flat land around it um there are nut trees there's plenty of animals there's a turtle spawn here too so there's plenty of food and there's plenty of sticks and foliage too so like i say the only downside is probably the land but there is some flat land and a couple of tribals do spawn around here but not too close i don't think just keep your fires out night time because i've heard bad rumors about all places to be honest fires at night attract the tribesmen and a good thing about this is between drug lab and that last location the docks are plenty of blueprints in the area so not tons of land but a nice little oasis moving on 50 west 27 south sorry um don't know what i was doing there um yeah pablo escola would be proud of this little setup so there is plenty of blueprints in this area there's beds so you can have a little snooze there is plenty of loot like there's canned food there is a water collector right here there's some cages in the background do what you will with them there's a nice little cooking pot on the stove thing there the only downside really is this bit of an eyesore if you consider that a downside depends how posh you are but um there are a couple of tribals just out the back kind of out of range but if i was an estate agent i'd say don't look at the river come and look at this nice bit of land there is plenty of food and if you take out all these cocaine bushes then come to the end right here there is a killer trap so that is going to be wicked 
it will keep getting that spig, spig, you know what I'm saying. There's also a puma in this area, so be careful of that. Not only are there cocaine fields, there is a bamboo forest too. So um, chop at will. Plenty of birds for arrows and meat. You can't go wrong in this area, to be honest. It is up there with the best. Just don't look over this direction. So let me know in your comments what you think of the uh, Escobar's pad. So next location, 46 West, 26 South. So you are at the abandoned tribal village. So uh, this is amazing little location, a nice little one to call your home. In it you have some nice blueprints actually. You have the drying rack right there. You have the fire pit in the middle. And you have not a blueprint but a bone knife. I suppose it can be a crafted item. So yeah, pick it up, you will learn the blueprint. And then you have a nice little trap here. Hello Mr. Froggy. So you have a banana field right here, tons of bananas. You have coconuts in this location. You have plenty of fruits. If you come over to these sort of trees, they will spawn blue mushrooms and nuts in between as well. It won't spawn in because I'm slightly out of render range. Like I say, there's coconuts in the tree. Beware though, it is a puma spawn. The beware of the puma. But yeah, it's a nice ideal little location. You can go fishing in this lake too. Beware of Stingray too, should I add. And then if you come right over in this direction, a few pigs spawn in this little bit of flat land over there. So quite a nice place to call home. Just to sum it up, it is a perfect little location to call home, to be honest. A nice little paradise. So let me know your thoughts on this starting easy location. So moving on then to the next one, we are at 45 West, 30 South. Now come across this log and this is basically the starting location for story mode. So if you start in survival, you won't actually start here. But it's a nice little tropical paradise again. So you'll be in spoilt with these paradises right here in Green Hell. There are birds and there's honey that spawns here. You have to destroy the bees nest. There is um, plenty of fish here. There's not plenty of land down the bottom just here. There is a fair bit to build, but I mean, there's plenty more up here if you need to expand your base. And um, it's pretty safe here. The tribals can't get here. And it's very close to that last location. So there's all the benefits from that, like the blueprints and the pigs for some meat. I don't think there's bamboo too close to this location though, so you might have to travel for that. There's a nice little cave to get started with a fire and a bed, so you're nice and warm and toasty. There's obsidian too, so to round it up, it's a nice easy start in tropical location. Ignore the cursor, 35 west, 26 south. We have anaconda nearly broke into a Nicki Minaj song we have Anaconda Island and what a beautiful island this is hats off to whoever made this one he's got his own fishing pole resting up there Lizzie the lizard we got a campfire some beds plenty of loot there is tons of loot some of them's hidden under the banana you got blueprints like this prawn trap there is plenty of fish in the area, beware, caiman can attack you even on your island so you're not completely safe which is quite fun. Just found out this little caiman sex den right here, goes pretty deep. I hope that noise won't them. But anyway, um, plenty of bamboo forests around here. And you are safe for tribals. I don't think they can get on the island. Let me know in the comments if you've had a tribal attack on it. But yeah, there is so much loot in this area. It is a really nice, gorgeous place. Lush location. So this next location is 25 West, 24 South. It's another tropical paradise. 
and it has its own little came in sexy hole don't know why this is here because none of them spawn so maybe it's the fish that use this one but there is plenty of birds fish there is as you can see lilies and other nut trees and stuff like that so there's plenty of food around there's pig spawns and stuff here oh and there is a puma spawn so be careful of that in the area but it is a nice decent place there's bamboo here on the island and off of the island and where I'm just about to show you is more flat land so um, not tons of flat land in this area but there is some just here but another con is it's right next to that ant hill right there which will be a right pain in the ass and there is a nice little cave here so you could take refuge in this so to sum this one up then it is a beautiful location but just kind of limited on some things but nonetheless it's a beautiful place to build so as we move over to the next one we're at 25 west 27 south it is over by the swamp and yes we still do have that leech on our arm so shout out to the leech <laughs> right so it's over in this location if you look on the map right over to the east over there and you could take advantage of this whole swamp area if you want but this does have a cave right by it so you can take shelter in the cave just setting up and whatnot um, if you want to keep your campfire dry that sort of thing but the main thing about living here is the space it has tons of space to build once you clear out a few trees and whatnot you do have nut trees and the big trees with the, sh the blue shrooms and all that and some other shrooms uh, meat wise there ain't loads there is a came in further southwest so be careful of that if you want food go and hunt them down um, like I say there is nut trees and whatnot there may be frogs be careful of the poisonous ones however but yeah this is a nice area massive amounts of land and you can go fishing here beware there could be piranhas but there is bass just here too so fishing probably is your main source of meat with this one so to sum it up be careful the came in like I say and just enjoy the beauty of the swamp and the massive amounts of land for a swamp this is pretty epic looking I have to say so I will run over one more location this is all of them but I'm gonna throw in a bonus one right now so this is an absolute epic location it's the main tribal village situated 25 west 24 south i'll show you on the watch right now that's what it looks like shout out to the leeches that are still here on my arm not you actually youtube viewers <laughs> so um there is plenty of stuff here i can't remember what blueprints here are actually there might be like a fire starter or something like that but there are hammocks so you can sleep there might be more stuff actually in story mode this is survival mode so there will be more stuff in survival uh story mode sorry um like i say there's plenty of bananas there's a whole field of bananas just outside of this shack what i love about it is it's the true like tribal feel living here like if you look at the north centennial tribe i think they're called situated off the indian ocean like in real life this is the, their huts look exactly the same and they must have got inspiration shout out to the devs for creating that awesome look but um just be careful the stingray but there's plenty of fish there it's got its own fishing dock which is just amazing this place has got to be my favorite just for the raw raw um primitive survivals type tribe feel to it because that's what i love in games but anyway i hope this has been helpful for you if you've enjoyed it please drop a like subscribe and comment down below those really help the channel grow and i appreciate it massively but check out the rest of the green air playlist take care stay safe stay entertained and we'll see you all on the next one